Eric Boland has the first question. Eric, if you can unmute, uh, you can ask Gardy a question. Hey, Brent, uh, hope you and your family are well, first and foremost. Uh, just a, a general question about uh, yesterday and what happened with, uh, with Massa. Can you just kind of describe what your thoughts were of seeing that and then just sort of the, the impact that it had on, on the rest of the day? It seemed you guys just obviously were overwhelmingly concerned with what happened. Yeah, I mean, obviously, first and foremost, just um, a, a very scary um, incident that unfortunately is something when we're doing the things that we're doing is, is tough to avoid. And, um, you know, just immediately your thoughts go out to him and, and your concern for him. And, you know, we've seen him here today uh, walking around acting like his normal self. So I'm hoping that uh, he's in the clear and, um, you know, really um, just a really scary moment. Thanks, Eric. We'll go to Pete Caldera. Pete, you can unmute and ask Gardy a question. Hey, Gardy, how are you? What's up, Pete? How are you? Just uh, curious uh, about uh, what that three-month interim was for you uh, like at home and uh, how much baseball activity you were able to do during that, that period. Uh, it was definitely different uh, being at home in the springtime for the first time in, um, in, in 15 years. It was... It was definitely an adjustment, but I have two small kids, and, and it, was, it was good to be able to spend some time with them and, and watch my uh, youngest play a little bit of baseball here recently um, and just uh, you know, help them with their e-learning towards the end of the spring semester uh, after I got back home from Tampa and really just um, spend a lot of time at home with my family, a lot of time uh, up, at, up at my farm and, and helping my dad and my uncle out a little bit and um, just really – you know, kind of unplugging and getting away and um, being around as few people as possible, to be honest. So, yeah, I mean, I was able to, you know, continue to stay in shape and work out at my house and, um, you know, hit and throw and, um, you know, obviously excited to be back. Thank you. Take the next question from Dan Martin. Dan, you can unmute and ask a question. Hey, Brett, how are you? Hey, good, Dan. How are you? I'm good. Um, just what was your thought process going into this? Uh, some of your teammates you talked to yesterday were very gung-ho about it, but other people, as you know, around the league uh, had some hesitation about whether they wanted to play. Uh, it, just what's, your, what's your feeling going into this, this spring training 2.0 and just what you guys have to deal with to stay safe? Yeah, I mean, for me, um, you know, for, for myself and my family and to some of the other guys that I've talked to, we're just trying to take things one day at a time, really, and, um, you know, not have too grand of expectations and not really, I think we're all kind of just going into this with, um, you know, wait and see how it all plays out. But, um, you know, so far, being back here over the last few days, it definitely, um, it definitely has a different feel to it. But I think anywhere across the, whether it be, city or state or world right now has a little different feel to it. So I think that, um, you know, it's just one of those things where we have to be responsible, keep our masks on when we're indoors, obviously, um, you know, try and, you know, physically distance from each other as much as possible, which is, is hard for us because we've been apart for so long that all we want to do is sit around a table and have a cup of coffee and talk and catch up. So uh, it's definitely got a different feel to it. But I think for the guys that are in the room, you know, we have to be 100 percent committed and 100% all in and, and do our best and do our part to, uh, you know, not just stay safe ourselves, but to keep those around us safe, too. Thanks. Brian Hoke. Brian, if you can unmute, you can ask a question. Hey, Brett. Hey, Brian. How are you? How are you? Good. Um, you've been around the Yankees longer than anybody on this team. You've seen a lot, uh, but nothing like this. What have the first few workouts been like for you, and what, what makes you think that this is going to work? Well, the first few workouts have been pretty normal, other than seeing um, seeing guys with masks on. You know, your coaches out there on the field, and it's got a little different look to it, a little different feel to it. But um, you know, for the most part, it's the same group of guys. Um, you know, same coaching staff, and I think that um, you know, with with how quickly things kind of guys disperse during the middle of spring training, I think it's um, you know everybody's happy to be back together and excited to try and get this thing going. So, um, you know, like I said, it's just going to be up to everyone involved, um, not just the players, but all the other staff at the field and our families at home to be as smart as possible. And, um, you know, hopefully um, all this works out. Thank you. Yep. Sweeney, Sweeney, if you can unmute, you can ask Guardy a question.
Brian's got fans in the background. Yes, he go. does. Marty, you hear me okay? Yes, Winnie, how are you? Good, buddy. Um, hey, uh, Garrett Cole was talking the other day about a group text that, uh, that he was having with you guys. I'm just wondering, like, what uh, you've been able to learn about him personality-wise, how you tried to engage him since he's new and you know, trying to be part of his team is, is difficult at this time when everybody's apart. And what it's going to be like to have him, you know, taking the mound maybe 12 times for a, in, in 60 games for you. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously we're excited about having him having him be part of the squad. I mean, we all know what he's capable of doing out there on the mound every five days. Um, you know, just in spring training, it, it was really um, – I thought he did a great job of getting to know guys early on and really, um, you know, interacting with everybody in a positive way. Um, you know, really, really kind of taking it on himself to be one of the leaders, and not just of the team, but of that pitching staff. And, you know, I think he's a guy that, um, you know, he's easy to like and he fits right in. And like I said, we're happy to have him, obviously. Um, you know, it's a different time right now for him. He just had his first child just a few days ago. And, um, you know, I can't imagine going into all this with, um, you know, the big expectations that he has. And um, I know it's a, a different different time for him as well. But good to see him back here yesterday and um, look forward to playing behind him every few days. Thank you. Thanks, Winnie. I see Meredith has joined. Meredith, if you can unmute, take a couple questions from Gardy for Gardy. Hey, Brett, thanks for doing this. I just wanted to ask you from a hitting perspective, defensive perspective, what do you view as some of the biggest challenges in trying to get game ready in three weeks? Um, I think physically, just guys um, knowing their bodies, staying within themselves and not trying to do too much too early. Obviously, um, those three weeks, will, I guess it's going to be less than three weeks from now. But, um, you know, they're, they're going to fly by, obviously, and we need to make the most out of this time and be as smart as possible. And, you know, I think that, um, you know, our coaching staff does a good job of keeping us organized and, um, moving at a swift pace and having a good plan and, and getting guys in and out and being able to get our work in, as much work in in a short amount of time as possible. So, um, you know, again, I think we just take things one day at a time and be as safe as possible and, um, you know, be respectful of others. And I think that, um, you know, if we keep our space and do that, hopefully um, we'll be able to play the whole season. Take the next question from Marley Rivera. Marley, please unmute. Hi, Brett. I hope you're well, and it's good to see you. I hope you and your family are well. Um, Brett, you guys were very close, obviously, to making the World Series last year with a team that was really injured, right? Like record-setting injury team. You were still a great team and got very far. This year, you came into spring training as a prohibitive favorite after having signed Garrett Cole. How do you see the New York Yankees in a 60-game season? Well, I mean, I don't think a whole lot has changed. Um you know, since since we left spring training, other than the fact that, you know, hopefully a couple of the guys that maybe we're going to start the season on the injured list, I think, are, are healthy now. So for us, um, you know, I think we look better now than we did a few months ago. But um, as we saw last year and, and, and as we saw yesterday with that scary incident with Massa, a lot of things can change in a hurry. So, um, you know, we just have to do our part, like I said, to, to make sure our bodies re are ready for this season in the short amount of time. And, um, you know, obviously love the guys that we have, love the team that we have, and feel great about our chances. So, um, you know, we're excited to, um, you know, hopefully get these next few weeks by us without any incident and, um, and, and get the season started. And, um, you know, it's, it's been a long time coming, but uh, we're looking forward to it. Thank you very much. We'll take a few more. Uh, Gardy's going to take the field for stretch shortly, so uh, we'll get to a couple more and let him go. Jake Siner, AP, if you can unmute, you can ask Gardy a question. Hey, Brett, uh, I just wanted to clarify on something you had said before about uh, this whole circumstance, taking it a day at a time and waiting to see how it all plays out. Are you not necessarily 100% committed to going into the regular season, or is that more just about just something different? you just uh, clarify maybe that? Uh, no, I am personally 100% committed. I don't think that I would be here if I wasn't. Obviously, that's a... Um, you know, a conversation that I've had with my wife and with my family over the last few weeks and few months through all this, and, um, you know, I, I think that you know, I'm obviously me being here, um, you know, kind of speaks for itself and that I'm committed to doing everything I can and doing my part to try and make this work and, um, you know, be here for my teammates. And um, a a as I said, I think we've got a great group of guys and a really good chance to do some special things on the field this year. And I look forward to being a part of that. Um, you know, I just think that, um, you know, there's obviously a lot of uncertainty with, um, with where things are right now. And, um, you know, not for myself personally, but just um, just as a whole, I mean, I think a lot of things are going to have to go right for uh, 
for all this to work and and i'm optimistic but i'm also um you know cautious and and a little hesitant uh, at the same time so um yeah just take things one day at a time enjoy enjoy everything that comes along with this and um like i said um we'll see what happens we'll take a final two bob clappish you can unmute and uh, ask a question Can you hear me? Yeah, Bob. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. I'm just wondering what your impressions are working out in an empty stadium like this. And during the regular season, it's going to be even quieter than this without the music background. Do you think you'll have any trouble, you know, finding that adrenaline, getting that same sort of juice with, with virtually total silence? Um, it'll definitely be different. Uh, it's not something I've done. I've played my whole career with the Yankees, and I'm fortunate that no matter where we play, we have a lot of fans and and usually the atmosphere is, um, is, is really, really good. So it'll definitely be different. Um, <clears throat> I don't know that I worry about getting motivated or, or finding that motivation because I feel like I've always been pretty self-motivated. But I'll definitely miss the fans and miss, um, miss, miss our Yankee fans, not just at home here in the Bronx, but on the road. Um, you know, hopefully we don't have to play too many games without them. Hopefully as the season goes on, we can um, – you know, play in front of fans again. But, you know, I think that's a, a little ways away. So that's why I just say take things one day at a time and, and hope that uh, we do get that opportunity at some point this year. Last question, John Schwartz, Yankees Magazine. John, if you can unmute. Hello? We can hear you. Hey, John, how are you? Hey. I'm good. How are you, Brad? Good. Uh, just you mentioned uh, guys being a little bit healthier. Obviously, when you guys left camp, the entire outfield, pretty much besides you, uh, what, there were some question marks there. What have you seen already from, you know, whether it's Aaron or Aaron and G that uh, has you excited about being on the field with them? Guys look good. I mean, um, they really do. Uh, obviously, us outfielders, we're usually grouped together, so I see a lot of those guys. And, and um, you know, everybody here seems seems healthy and seems ready for the season to start. Obviously, um you know, two and a half weeks or whatever to knock off a little bit of rust. But um, those guys seem healthy and ready to go. And, and obviously, um, you know, we'll be excited to get them back in the lineup together.